Captain Andy from Echo Hill Outdoor School, and I'd like to welcome you to our new series, Outdoor Insider. And this is something that we're going to do to help connect uh, people from the Echo Hill Outdoor School community, all of our past participants and future participants uh, during these difficult times. So this is a way that we can uh, connect or make connections with you from us in the field. And in the first episode, um, I'd like to do kind of a, oh, I would say a, a mystery tour, if you will, about uh, our Chesapeake Bay work boats. And I'm gonna focus on one thing in particular. You know, if you consider nautical history, really things hadn't changed much for a very, very long time people were reliant on things like paddles, of course, not paddles made of plastic, but, and the oar and the sail, of course, until the concept of the screw propeller came along. And as people in different parts of the world were working on that, uh, eventually a guy, a Swedish American by the name of John Erickson, he developed the screw propeller and he developed it to the point where it actually ended up with naval military application. This is a screw propeller. It's one that we used to use on one of our boats. And, um, you know, ever since about 1865, the screw propeller completely changed travel all around the world. We still use screw propellers. Uh, they're just everywhere. They're inside your computers. They're uh, they're used on airplanes and fans and giant freighters that cross the ocean. So one thing we want to do today is take a look at a couple of our boats, the Vessel Spirit and the Vessel Twilight. So let's go have a look. So we're in Still Pond Creek right now. This is where the Vessel Twilight and the Vessel Spirit are kept at a pier that Echo Hill Outdoor School has. The Twilight, the boat closest to us, was built in Virginia in 1911. And the Spirit, the one on the other side of the dock, was built here in Kent County, Maryland in 1944. Let's go take a closer look. So here we are out on the dock to take a closer look at the Twilight. This boat was built in 1911. It's a fabulous Chesapeake Bay work boat that was built for the harvest of oysters and fish and crabs. And then we have the Spirit that was built really for the same reason, oysters, fish, and crabs here in the upper part of the bay. The, the Spirit is the boat that I want to focus on today. Every winter we completely overhaul the two boats. We put them inside an indoor workspace and we sand and we paint them and make any repairs that we think are necessary and we did something completely different with the Spirit this year. We put a new engine in it. So this is the engine box and the engine that we took out of the Spirit was a four-cylinder diesel. It had been in the boat since the mid-80s, although it was a used engine at the time. It was built in 1964, so that engine had a pretty good run. But we put a brand new engine in here this winter. Let's take a listen. Oh, baby. Burrs like a kitten. Come on in for a closer look. So, in 1865, when Swedish-American John Erickson invented the screw propeller, he had a huge challenge. Because if he had an engine here, and a propeller here, and a shaft that went from the engine to the propeller, he had to drill a hole in the boat for the shaft to go up through. And then the task was, how do you prevent water 
from coming in the shaft hole. Quite a problem, particularly when the boat weighs many tons. It's a lot of weight and a lot of force pushing water up through that shaft hole. So let me show you how he solved that problem. This is how he solved that problem. This, come in close and take a look, very closely. This is waxed linen. So linen comes from a plant and so these are linen fibers that are woven and then heavily waxed. And the way he solved that problem is to take some wraps of it and wrap it around the top of the shaft and then we have a nut that screws down on it and compresses the waxed linen. Come to the back of the boat and I'll back of the engine and I'll show you. Let's go take a look. So here we are at the shaft where it comes through and connects to this coupling which connects to the transmission. And this is the packing nut. And underneath here are several wraps of this waxed linen. And then the packing nut is screwed down on it and it compresses the linen so that it prevents water from coming in. But look, see my hand is wet? There's a little bit. And this is the real genius of it. Because the when the boat is going forward and the engine is turning the transmission and the shaft, it turns so fast that it would burn up the waxed linen unless it gets lubricated. And so turning the packing nut just to the right amount, so just a little bit of water comes through there, that's what keeps the linen from burning up. And so it's a, it's a very fine balance between too tight and not tight enough. And right here, I'm going to tell you, it's just right. So here we are. The engine is running at an idle of about 700 revolutions per minute. We call that RPM. I'm going to put it in gear, and you'll be able to see it. There we go. That's what it's doing, running about. Look at that. And look. The perfect drip. That water's lubricating. And when we go for a boat ride, which we're going to do in a minute, we'll run up to about 2,800 revolutions per minute. That means the shaft the propeller makes a full revolution 2,800 times every minute. So you can imagine the kind of friction that is there and how hot it could get, but with all the proper materials, John Erickson got it figured out. A great American inventor. Let's go for a boat ride. So the next time we're out, we'll probably do something a little different. Maybe we'll uh, we'll pull the net and take some samples of some living organisms that live out here in the bay. Uh, but I got a couple other things in mind. In the meantime, there are a couple of things I think you could do. You could uh, do a little research on that Swedish American inventor, John Erickson. And you could also maybe pick uh, half a dozen or or 10 or so random machines and research their RPMs. You know, everything that has a shaft and runs has some kind of an RPM rating. And I just think if you look into it, do a little research, you know, you'll probably find out some things that you didn't know about. Some pretty important things that help to make the world go round. So until next time, stay safe. Stay strong, and you better stay at home, at least for the time being. Talk to you later.